Good morning everyone, let's look today at the Terrain Blanket module, uh, which is a new release for the vegetation engine uh, and it allows you to conform meshes to the uh, terrain surface as you can see in the preview near my head. So uh, that's the Terrain uh, Blanket module, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Just kidding, uh, let's jump to Unity and uh, see how this is working. So I have this terrain in the scene, nothing special about it and I have a few prefabs which are not really designed to work with the terrain because they are quite uh, big. As you can see, uh, this uh, base mesh with some roots from uh, Nature Manufacture, uh, the clover uh, included in uh, TV and uh, this uh, big uh, grass patch again included in uh, TV. So, uh, because they are quite large, uh, you cannot use them on terrain which has a lot of elevation. Uh, what we need to do first is to uh, switch the shaders uh, from the default uh, shaders to the blanket shaders. And for instance, this one is using the prop standard lid, uh, the default shader, and I will uh, change it to uh, the blanket shader, the prop standard lead blanket shader. All right, once this is done, uh, if I move the mesh around, nothing is happening. That's because we didn't pass the height of the terrain uh, to the shaders yet. And uh, that will be done using uh, elements a bit later. Uh, all right, uh, let's change the shader for um, these two, I don't even care what shader uh, they are using. Uh, we can go to the material manager, uh, go to the material presets and choose the shader, uh, switch to blanket uh, shaders. All right, this is now set. Uh, all we need to do is to uh, create an element to pass the height of the terrain to the shaders. Uh, in order to do it, uh, select the terrain, uh, right click, go to Boxophobic, the vegetation engine and choose an element. Uh, when uh, the terrain is selected, uh, the element will match the terrain size. And if you look at the element, uh, the terrain is uh, automatically assigned uh, to the element. Uh, and by default, the terrain mask is set to uh, height texture. This is the actual height of the terrain, which is then passed uh, to the element. Uh, to use uh, this element uh, for, for the uh, blanket shaders, we need to change the shader of the element from the default color, which is assigned by, uh, by default when you create an element, uh, to go and choose the elements blanket vertex conform uh, shader and uh, once this is done as you can see the grass is already conforming uh, to the terrain uh, that's because uh, this grass is using uh, pre-baked uh, pivots so each uh, sub mesh of uh, this big grass is uh, using pivots and uh, each element is treated uh, as an indivi individual uh, object and this is working uh, by default. If I select the, the base with the roots and if I move it around, as you can see, the mesh is conforming uh, to the terrain but it is using the actual uh, mesh pivot, uh, which is not great uh, for this mesh. Uh, what we need to do is to go to the material and instead of using the pivot position uh, for the vertex element, uh, we need to disable this checkbox and now the mesh is uh, nicely conforming uh, to the terrain. All right, we need to do the same uh, for the clover. And uh, that's it. All meshes are now 
conforming nicely uh, to the terrain. If I want to move uh, this clover up and down, uh, you cannot do it by uh, moving the, the actual object. You need to do it from the material uh, to offset uh, this uh, conform. All right, something like this. I will move this uh, one down a bit and uh, that's it. All right. Um, if you check the description, uh, you saw that you can align the objects uh, to the terrain uh, surface normals. So uh, let's see how that works. Uh, first thing first, you need to make sure uh, your terrain is using instancing. So draw instance, instanced need to be enabled. Uh, without it, uh, we cannot act access the uh, terrain uh, normals. I will create a new element. And uh, this time I will change the terrain mask to normal texture to pass the normal texture from the terrain to the element. And uh, for the element shader, I will choose the blanket uh, vertex orientation uh, shader. And uh, right now, uh, this grass, as you can see, is following the uh, terrain normals. And you can control if you want to follow the terrain normals or not on the material again. And it is uh, called uh, global orientation. All right, this is working nicely. Uh, but uh, right now our meshes, uh, let me fix the position of this mesh because instead of moving the prefab, I actually moved uh, the, the the game object, the LOD zero. All right. Uh, now these meshes are broken. That's because they are trying to align to to the terrain uh, normals. But uh, this is not really working for meshes uh, which are not using pre-baked pivots like the grass. So in order to fix it, uh, we need to go and uh, actually disable the global orientation. All right. Same for the clover, global orientation, and uh, that's it. We can now populate our scene uh, with uh, meshes which are conforming to the uh, terrain. All right, so what about performance? Uh, you might say that uh, if we can populate the terrain uh, with uh, fewer instances and uh, with some uh, big grass clusters, the performance uh, might be better, right? Well, uh, it probably depends. In my example, in this scene, uh, the performance is uh, much better compared to using uh, single instances like uh, this small grass uh, placed over the terrain. Uh, let's look at some metrics. Uh, I have around 60 FPS. If you look at the render thread, uh, it is using around 10-11 uh, milliseconds and we have uh, 4000 batches. Uh, the triangle count is uh, around uh, 10 million. Okay, let's switch to uh, the blanket shaders. Uh, which is using this uh, big cluster of grass. Of course, I have less instances uh, painted over the terrain. Uh, and as you can see, the FPS increased from 60 to 83, 84. Uh, the render thread is reduced to uh, around 4 milliseconds. The batches are also reduced to uh, 600. And again, we render uh, about 10 uh, million uh, triangles. So clearly in this example, the performance is uh, much better, but it might not be the uh, same if you are using nature renderer 
or GPU instancer. So I will not advertise uh, this asset at, as a uh, perform performance uh, improver. Uh, it might be different from uh, case to case. So uh, this is the blanket module. I hope uh, you find it useful. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, see you in the next one. Have a nice day.